wanted to show you a way you can make it survive. What I'll do is turn that thermostat just on, on the fan. I can still turn the AC down low, but I'll leave the fan on. And that way, once I've push started this thing, I can make it survive. First, I'll show you what's going on. Some of these will have a service door switch uh, in it, so it won't be able to turn on until that service door is closed. Mine actually doesn't, so I'll show you what's going on here. Go ahead and open this up. Definitely made more noise than I wanted to. Anyway, what's going on is the fan motor won't start on its own. So what I'm going to do is going to go turn the thermostat on. I'll just turn that fan to on. Leave the AC off at first. Just get the fan going, but you're going to hear a buzz when I come over here. Then I'll unplug it. I'll give the fan a spin, and then I'll plug it back in. And from there, it should take over. So, I'll show you here. That's on, but you hear that buzzing. It's not able to start the uh, the motor spinning. And so what I'm going to do is going to reach in there, give the motor a spin, and then re-plug the unit back in. Reach in, give the motor a spin. Okay, the motor's spinning. fan just on on. I can turn the AC down to cool. I heard on the roof the air conditioner kick on. So I can keep this wherever I like it. But now the AC will only kick on. The AC portion on the roof will run until it reaches that temperature. Then it'll kick off and but it'll leave the fan on. And that way the fan doesn't turn off on me. I still have AC through the night. And I can get my new capacitor tomorrow and change the capacitor. The capacitor assists the motor to start. So anyway, that's my strategy for survival. This could work for you if you had a unit that you needed to get a capacitor for and you couldn't get one right away once you spun start it. You know, make sure you unplug it. And the motor completely stopped. Spin it. And while the motor is still spinning, then you can plug it back in. Put the service door on once that service door engages the service door switch the unit should be able to kick on and so just kind of a way you may be able to sur survive and still have ac uh, while you're waiting for a new capacitor or getting a new capacitor anyway, go there. so this was my temporary strategy for survival to get through night this won't always work on every situation sometimes the motor is so far gone that it's just gone, but you know, this is something you can try uh, before replacing the motor. And stay tuned for the follow-up video where I show how to repair it more permanently and I wouldn't have to push start it anymore. As always, don't touch anything unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Better to call on a professional than to lose some fingers just so you can have AC. Thanks for watching.
for watching.